So somebody's asked me about glitches of hazards before. Um, so everybody knows this, you get this in 2607. Glitch is a spike usually on one of the hazards of the circuit that may cause a glitch. And you can have static high, static zero hazards, static one hazards, or dynamic hazards. And you can create them with two reconvergent paths into an AND or two reconvergence into an OR, or you can have an AND and an OR to get a dynamic hazard. So I'm not gonna go through that. You guys learned all that stuff. Uh, what I am going to show you, though, is let's say we have a, a system. We have a flip-flop. This could be multiple flip-flops. We're just going to look at one flip-flop here. We have a circuit, some logic, which has some hazards in it. We have another flip-flop. We have another circuit, logic with hazards in it. And then we have another flip-flop. So this is a normal synchronous system, right? Uh, flip-flops, logic, flip-flops, logic, and there could be many levels of it. But that's that's what a synchronous system looks like. So what's gonna happen here? The DE input comes in, it gets clocked in, so Q1 goes high here. Now we go into this hazardous circuit and it creates a dynamic hazard here, okay? In a synchronous system, that hazard is not a problem as long as we wait a long enough time for the hazard to die out. And only then do we clock into the next flip-flop. So the next clock edge for this second flip-flop, it takes that D2 and it only clocks it in over Here's our clock, here's the restricted region. So it's clocking it over here. As long as this is settled out before the next clock edge, I don't care about those glitches and hazards. And likewise for this other hazard here from uh, Q2 to D3, D3 comes in or Q2 comes in, we get this glitch here because of the hazard in this uh, AND gate. But again, it's died out before we clock in the signal to the next flip flop. So in synchronous systems, you have tons of hazards, tons of glitches are happening all the time, but we don't care because we just make our clock slow enough so they all die down. Whereas asynchronous signals, any little glitch like that is like a major catastrophe, you gotta deal with it all the time. So this is one of the major reasons we like synchronous systems versus asynchronous systems. They reduce, they basically eliminate having to deal with uh, hazards and glitches at all. And so as long as you have any inputs, if you can synchronize them before you bring it into your synchronous system, which is what we just talked about, eh, let's not worry about the glitches and hazards. Okay, I think we're out of time for today. Any questions before we call it quits? Nope.